If you haven't watched the new Fast 10 trailer, Fasting Your Seatbelts, let me break it down for you. Let's ride. Let's ride. Let's ride. It's time to get to work. <laughs> Family! <laughs> Game recognizes game, bitch. Let's ride. <laughs> Paul Walker used to be in this. No one goes against my family. You've made quite the family for yourself, haven't you? Dumbass. Well, you took mine. Back in Fast Five or something. I was there the whole time. Waiting. Plotting. Let's ride! Let's ride. How many times do I have to say it? Let's just ride already! Ride or die. Bad boys for life. It's a different property altogether. Let's ride. Let's ride. Let's ride. Fast. Ten. Kill me with this franchise. Thoughts on the trailer? Well, for starters, it's 25 hours long. Why is this thing over three and a half minutes? I've seen everything. Not that it matters. These movies are so beyond the pale stupid at this point. What's left to take from me? What's left to give from this family, right? Dom looks fully CG this time around. Makeup department is having a hell of a time. What is going on with Jason Momoa in this? He's like a deep fake every other scene. Did they get like three different guys to play him at different times? Like, oh, I might be working on Aquaman. So here's a guy that's kind of like me. And then we'll just airbrush his face later. It, it looks so bizarre. Brie Larson's in it. Don't really know what her character is. She seems very serious. Uh, but then at the end, Charlize Theron's revealed. I thought that was Brie Larson again. This was supposed to be a big moment in the trailer. I'm like, is that Brie Larson? Oh, it's Charlize Theron. They look exactly the same. Not a, not like a bad thing. They're both smoking hot. I just, nothing about this trailer worked. It's just Looney Tunes. It's Roadrunner shenanigans. It's Mickey Mouse shit. At one point, Dom is pulling two helicopters into each other, which naturally explode, killing everyone inside. He's fine though. He'll just keep driving. What are we doing anymore? People will often use the cliche, I remember Fast and the Furious when it was about street racing. Well, there's more movies about like international espionage than there are about street racing. So that, we, we can throw that argument away. I don't even care about that. Fast and the Furious 9 was just, just really bad all around. You can do over the top silly stuff. That's fine. That's cool. But if there's no real genuine heart or soul or passion behind anything you're seeing, it's just nonsense. I gotta have something I get, I can like hook on to, you know? Tom Cruise still sells Ethan Hunt in Mission Impossible and that's the same plot every single time. There's a rogue nation after him. The CIA's gone evil or, you know, there's a, a deep state. There's a black state. There's like whatever they want to call it. Ethan Hunt is somehow has to get out of all this situation. But Tom Cruise is a leading man that sells the emotion, the passion. Vin Diesel has none of that. He's literally a rock that you pick up and just set down. He's chiseled out of stone. You, you just cart his ass to the next scene. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do I got to do here? Family. Let's ride. Quarter mile at a time. Dwayne Johnson can't be in this movie. Statham can come back. Hobbs and Shaw, we'll take half of it. We'll take a half Hobbs. Or Shaw. I don't actually know which is which. It, it doesn't matter. And let's ride. I think this is maybe one of the final chapters in the Fast Saga. How embarrassing. Uh, what are we doing? How embarrassing that this is our big tentpole franchise. Fast and the Furious. I went on that ride, by the way, at Universal recently with the family. That ride sucked ass. It was one of the worst rides there. They clearly put a lot of money and budget into it. But man... It was a great reflection of the series as a whole because it was dumb. It was really dumb. Am I excited for Fast 10? Not in the slightest. Will I see it? Well, yeah, I gotta see it. <laughs> I gotta see it. <laughs> How can you get it worse? How can you get worse than nine? I wish it was shorter. 
If it was like an hour and 45, I'm sure this thing's gonna be like two and a half hours and like $500 million to make. Just, well, again, I, I don't I don't know what's happening anymore in the world. There were some moments in the trailer where I was like, hell yeah. The scene on the dirt bike where she's like and bunny hops over the ledge and then flips it back. Couldn't tell if it was practically done. It looked pretty fake. I'm in, I'm in for that. I like the spectacle, I like the over the top stuff, but I want something to latch onto. We lost that with Paul Walker. Not that I thought he was like the greatest actor ever that was really holding this together, but he was like your every man you could relate to. He wasn't like juiced up and larger than life and talked like a robot. He was like a regular dude. So without him, we just have a bunch of muscle, you know, taking energy drinks and smashing cars. And that's gonna work for a lot of people. But for me, I just go to them thinking, I hate my life. Why am I here? That's Fast 10. Let's ride. If you wouldn't mind, please flip the switch on that NOS and blast right into that subscribe button if you haven't already. I post tons of movie content each week on the channel. Love to have you stick around. Take care.